Hey guys, guys it's Tick and Tech. Welcome back to The Last of Us for Emas. Hells yeah, son. Oh, we're Dick. We're fighting a bunch of homeless people. They have a home, they're just assholes. We're fighting homeless people. Homeless assholes. No, again, they have a home, they're just dicks. Huge Why are so terrible? Assholes. Take Rufus on the That's a dick. Oh, another blink. You got a bow and arrow? I'm looking. Yeah, I do. How many arrows you got? I don't know. How many you got? Oh, that's what it is. Okay. Oh. Nine. Nine! That's actually pretty good. Except usually the arrows break. <laughs> what? Yeah, true. If, even if you shoot the person? They're homemade wooden arrows. Can you get non breakable arrows? I don't think so. Well, that's unfortunate. I know the strength of arrows is you can recover them. How likely are they to break? Very. Uh, the, like, freaking every three you shoot, three break. So every Jeez. shot is a pro. Is Basically, a break. yeah. That's what's part of it. I don't, I don't think any are really recoverable. <laughs> Damn. That's pretty rough. But their their strength in this game is the fact that they deal literally like quad damage when you hit an unaware target. Well, that's something. Yeah, like it's not great, but it's it's better than literally nothing. Well, yeah, especially since you have to sacrifice them every time. <clears throat> Fuck it. I'll just use one of these and get some other stuff too. Might as well. Oh boy. No. 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 Hope that. Bad. Oh Bad bird. Hot dog. Bad bird. Stop it. Nit. No. <laughs> <laughs> I knew this would happen. Alright, go. Let's see if we can get a prop dope with some. Um, there's some pretty gnarly stuff in here. Ellie! Like what? You'll see. <laughs> Connor's talking about nothing in butts. Nut butt? Butt nutter? He's a butt nutter. He's a butt nutter. He's a nutter butter. I got it. What? Oh. Probably. Ooh, grenades. There's smoke. 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 Smoke bombs. Fuck. Damn. I'm such a dumbass sometimes. Smoky boys. Those smoke your boys. No. Oh, oh, that's oh whatever. This one just opens. This one just opens. Great. Hey, great stuff. This fake door looks incredibly suspicious. <laughs> Super suspicioso. Mess it up, Fred. Don't get jumped. How did you know? No oh boy. Got the ambush. Got me on both sides. Health kits are now 33% stronger. Oh, wow. Woo. Woo hue. It's a health wee woo. <laughs> oh, I can only hold nine arrows. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Let's see what we got. Okay. What is it?
gotta actually decide what I want now. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. I'll, I'll save up for my long one. Well, I'll give you an idea, Thomas. This is the kind of like stuff that fully paid can have. So, mining stations, right? It totally makes sense that uh, freaking most people would find it more profitable to make a mining station than attempt to colonize an inhospitable world, right? Okay. So, one of the solutions yeah. is called a I don't think these guys are extracted. A mobile mining outpost assembled in accordance with the Blessed Standard template construct. This small industrial complex can be deployed on practically any world, however, however inhospitable. The surf plant assigned to it will devote itself to the maintenance and safety of the bridge. That's our way out of here. Extraction of resources needed by the road trip. So literally, you can deploy this mining station, basically. Right here. And it is essentially its own habitat. And it comes with its own weapons and anything. If you made a bunch of mining platforms to mine minerals and then didn't give them any weapons, they would almost certainly be probed. <laughs> they would just suck. <gasps> I'm whistling. Smart play. That's good. Hey, God, she figured out how to whistle. Now she's gonna annoy the shit out of everybody. Who figured that out? The child. Which child? That's when we had a kid and didn't tell us. I'll be really like this. Child. No. <laughs> so sure, he has no. I sold her. We were literally just talking about her. Yeah? Like, well, less I sold than an her. hour ago. Sold her. Let's sell you. She's gone, Brayden. Just no, accept that's it. Uh, that's only children, DW. Okay. A lonely child is what you'll be when I sell I you. Thank you. <laughs> Brain sucks. I hit him once in the face and it didn't kill him. Do you find more humans or more humans? More humans. Yeah. We're on the brink of extinction and we're still killing each other. Yeah, right? You'd think there'd be plenty of resources left behind, but I guess well, it is about 20 years. I think the only one that there wouldn't be plenty of resources for would be but that's mostly because yeah. most people wouldn't have an understanding of how to grow food. And, I mean, all these people in the cities, they're not going to be doing large-scale stuff. They'll probably be doing, like, gardens, but just being outside is generally considered dangerous. fucking hilarious. He gets stabbed in the shoulder by Ellie and I just turn around and fucking knock his lights out with a baseball bat. Who the fuck even is this guy? Oh, there you are. Peekaboo! Bam! I don't know how he was still conscious. Chosen one. Uh, that has nothing to do with chosen one. You're not the and chosen. Everything to do with the pirates. No. Of the Caribbean. No, no. Dude, have you ever seen the beginning of the second pirates movie? 
where uh, freaking Jack Sparrow is being chased around by a bunch of like uh, natives. Dude, I don't remember. If I've watched any of those movies, it was like ten years ago, if not more. I'm just saying because this is like an iconic movie. Can you recite your ABC? Can you? ABC is backwards. Quickly. Uh, 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 A. Uh, Wait, uh, that's wrong. Uh, B. Yeah, I will straight up fail. I will, I will have to, like, like take everything. Just cuff me right now. Yeah. <laughs> just, you might as well. Yeah. Uh, I give up. <laughs> <laughs> I give in. Do you notice how they trained us to teach, like, taught us how to do it one way and not the other? <laughs> so you know what that point means, right? Is so that they can't do it. Did you know a uh, field sobriety test is basically explicitly designed to make, make you fail? Sometimes they ran out. Yeah, they make it so freaking difficult. Most of them did just held on to it. That never happened in Boston. Trust me, it happened all the time. Oh, so they can force a breathalyzer test. Give us our rations. <laughs> but as long as you're not an idiot and drink and drive, then you should be a okay. Should. And if you drink and drive, then I hope they find you and I hope they put you in jail. I hope they put you so down like the rabbit dog you are. Because you become a threat to society. That's basically what Connor just said. Look, man, they're a threat to society. You know, people die from drunk driving incidents. I, I don't know, know, but I bet it's a lot. <laughs> I have too. no idea how many it is, but I keep it you it's not a this area. Sneaky, sneaky boy, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky boy, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky boy, sneaky boy, sneaky, sneaky, 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 sneaky boy, Fun fact, they're all business owners down in California, and uh, one of them literally does kitchen designs and installations, so they'll actually, like, make concepts for kitchens and then design them and install them. Yeah. So he did that for my mom's kitchen, and he brought all the pieces down in a big old trailer. Oh, what a sweet guy. Yeah, he's pretty cool dude. They're all pretty cool dudes. What a sweet little boy. And they're rich. <laughs> and they have that money. They got the facts. <laughs> Yeah. Yay! Guys. Give me all your money. Yo, my no money. Where's my money, bitch? Where's my fucking money, bitch? <laughs> Such an iconic meme. <laughs> True. Raven, you're killing the innocents. They're not innocent. They're innocents! I'll fucking make you uh, innocent. Hate the euro. Don't just make me gape you, you, dude. I'll do it. Get shit on. Get shit on. No, no, we have enough people watching all the exits. He says we can set up a larger perimeter. What is that really gonna give us? I don't know. Maybe we find some gas. Get some more generators going. We'll have to restore one of those old projectors. Watch some movies. That shit ain't happening. I've heard that expansion talk way too many times. And every time we try, it ends up with a bunch of us getting killed. True. Yeah, you know, maybe things will be different. Keep your expectations. Bunch of dead people. Check. You live long. <laughs> it's, it's true. Alright, dude, you're done.
You're done. Hey, me. Me, the man, done. the myth, the legend. Greg. No, not Greg. Anything with Greg. Greg be crazy. Greg be crazy. <laughs> he only has baseball bat, dude. Only? He conked you twice in the head. Joel's dead as far as I'm concerned. Anybody who gets hit straight in the head. I mean, did you ever see Gwen from what? Or from, uh, Virginia? You know, we were just talking about this last weekend. Yeah, we were. About the whole Popeyes thing? Yeah. From, uh, Am I really, though? Why can't I the day? That's a good question. What's the dating song? I don't know. Yeah, help me. Freaking more Rick Grimes. Oh! Shane. Walking Dead. Yes, there we go. Oh. I finally got it. The Dead Walkers. Yeah. Whoa. Freaking. Yeah, no. In, in case anybody's ever seen Glenn after his encounter with Megan. Uh, yeah. <laughs> anybody getting hit in the head with a face flat. Doesn't matter if it's wrapped in barbed wire or not. Yeah. They're gonna die. You're gonna be set. Seriously concussed. Maybe you'll just straight up be retarded. Like, but yeah, getting hit in the head with anything is always a bad idea. Yeah. Getting hit in the head with something like a baseball bat is a whole other. Thing. You're done. Yeah, That's you're it. Gonna die. That's it. You're done. Let's just give up now. Oh man, it's a shame that you're only gonna be able to loot like two bullets from this corpse. Get that. <laughs> Isn't that funny? These people, like, in a post-apocalyptic world like this, 20 years after the fact, and everybody still has guns. <laughs> yeah. Almost, without fail, everybody universally has advanced range weapons. Like, nobody's really resorted to, like, bow and arrows and stuff. Except for Joel, but that was by choice. And I think the funniest part <laughs> is that there's a scene in The Walking Dead, spoilers for anybody who Listening. Yeah, because they but, could definitely hear you whispering but, like, over there. Later in the season, like in one of the way later seasons, like maybe the newest one, <laughs> they're going up to this settlement. With, uh, I think actually no, I think it's when they first met uh, Jesus. Do you remember him? No. Okay. Well, there's a character named Jesus, and his whole thing uh, was they ran into him and he pickpocketed him, and they run into him later. But anyways, they help him out, and so he takes them to his settlement. And the guy on the wall has a throwing spear, yeah. and they're all outfitted with rifles and assault rifles and handguns, and he has this throwing, and so he, he's like, Jesus, who are these guys? And he's, he's readying his spear, like, you can't come in, and they're like, they're just, he's negotiating and like, being like, hey, we're all cool here, and I'm like, dude, you couldn't stop them. <laughs> what are you gonna do with that? You're like 30 feet apart, like, you aren't gonna touch them with it. Yeah, you're done. Dude, it is so Like, who sees a dude with an AR 30 feet away and you have a throwing spear? Mm -hmm. I got this. Yeah, I got this. Don't bro. you worry, guys. I stop them dead in their tracks. <laughs> oh, no. giving me shotgun ammo for some reason. Oh, shotgun. Because I definitely need shotgun ammo. Yeah. Not not something useful like a rifle or pistol ammo of any kind. <laughs> no. No, I don't. I don't want shotgun ammo. I have a shit ton of shotgun ammo. But I want rifle ammo. Could have shotgun ammo. You just gotta learn how to fight up close. Fighting up close isn't the issue. The issue is these people have guns. Do you not have a shotgun? The problem is, they have normal guns, meaning they can hit me from 80 feet, while I can only hit them from 5. Just chill and cover until they get close to you. Yeah, because they get close to you when they have guns, Connor. You're telling me that if you hide and cover for long enough, they won't just get close to you? No. They'll fucking continue to, like, take pot shots at you. See, that yeah. wouldn't be realistic if they didn't have infinite ammo. Yeah, but they wouldn't get closer either in no. real life. No, but after at a certain point, it wouldn't matter because they'd run out of bullets and then you run up and kill them.
waste that boy. Oh, he's wasted. Stop shooting me, asshole. Goddamn close, son. Excuse me. Is that a starlight? A comic And dare I survive? Okay. Dude, quit it. You're okay. He's not okay. I put my freaking hands on him like that, and he fucking wiggled his head around. I thought you would stay asleep much longer, sir. Sleep he is boy. tired. He is still. He is a tired. No offense, but I'm so kind of surprised Ellie can read. Fair. She was yeah. born after the collapse. No, that's not even what I'm talking about. Just her such a character type, you know? She dumb. Like, she doesn't strike me as the reading type. She doesn't strike me as intelligent. She strikes me like she's probably not even a Right in. Why haven't you beaten the game yet? It's a very long game, dude. Why haven't you beaten it? It's a very long game. Dude. If you don't beat it right now, your child is gonna suffer. If you do that to my child, I will murder you. I'd like to see you try. Yeah, good. I'm much bigger and stronger than you. You're right. <laughs> you ever heard of knife? Yeah, good. That's all it takes. Okay. Big strong don't mean nothing when stabbed to death. Get him! I can kill you, like emotionally yeah. speaking. You're emotionally speaking. I can speaking. absolutely destroy you emotionally. You don't want to play a game you don't want to play. No, I'm talking about like I can handle the emotional damage of murder. Murder. Specifically, you guys. <laughs> like, That's what they all say. You say that now. Just, just wait until you murder. Don't want to <laughs> Let's see where this leads us. The bomb's gonna destroy you. <laughs> yeah, take his fingers. I'm emotionally prepared to uh, ma to maim you and torture you until you die. That is completely different than what I said. <laughs> I'm emotionally prepared for this. See, I have my electric chainsaw, and I'll use it with my solar battery, so that way I don't waste any power. This is stupid. <laughs> there are prompts that are like, oh. I'll power your torture off, uh, off of the sun. <laughs> Silly dog. Sorry. Okay. Silly boy. Silly dogger. No hope. No hope. No more. Alright. I don't think they saw us. Those are pretty. You see, it's like, oh, this secret door is incredibly suspicious. Just keep going. And it doesn't elaborate. Come here, Ellie. I'm sure you want to talk about this. Mm -hmm. Ouch. That's one of the things they haven't fixed yet with this game is that uh, when people run, they'll often see those <laughs> as they're running. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, there you go. I hope there's something good in this one. Where? Where is it? Looking for the lost. Uh oh, 
the child is wakening. Yeah. He's getting rowdy. You have to take him out. Throw him around. Tire him out. Take Honestly, I might not even have to tire him out. I might just have to take him out. Yeah, yeah take him out. <laughs> come here, come here, kid. Fucking take bam. Him out. bam. Bam. Bam, bam. Don't excite him. Bam. If I sound muffled, it's because my face is behind the head of a poop. A poop, bam. not poop. A bam, bam. Yeah, bam. a poop. Boop Snoop. Snoop the boop. Nope. Boop the snoop. Yeah, he deserves a good gun. Oh my god, you're swimming in ooze. Swimming in the goop. It's just algae. It's just algae. It's pretty much just perception. Just starting. Alright, because your freaking Ellie can't swim. Yeah. Like an idiot. Who all here taught themselves how to swim? Me. Oh, this place is bad. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Did you guys teach yourselves how to swim? Yes. Basically, yeah. Ow. Right, how'd you do it? Well, Ow. I uh, went into the gym with my dad one day and got him a pool. And so I just started going. What was that all and then this really hot girl around my head showed up. Down. And then she just started going. I was like, well, I'm just like chilling in the water, little old me, like, yeah, this is a pretty good time. And then she got in, and, like, I'm just like, she's like, just power shit. She's pretty hot. And I was like, ooh, go talk to her. <laughs> I was like, I'm not gonna do that. But now I've got an insane urge to try and learn. <laughs> now I have to. It was, he did it for a girl. I did. That he didn't even talk to. I didn't even know her. Yeah, but you never okay. even talked to her. Yeah, that, that is true. What about you, Brandon? Oh, my dad threw me in the deep end. Oh, uh, that doesn't count. Your dad taught you how to swim. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I didn't expect that. Why is hey! it? Oh, jeez. Why, uh, why is this place so flooded? Where do you think you're going? Did you go to coffee shops a lot? Some of these people are stupid. I saw a rat the other day. Big And what would you get? Wish I yes, but just coffee. Hold this way. Alright, well, this isn't a terrible place to end it. No, it's really not. So, I think we'll, we'll end it here and continue exploring for a little after this. But also, I need to take my dog to go poop, so... Do pee pee. Okay. Well, if you enjoyed the video, consider liking and subscribing. Definitely go check out our other content. Until next time, peace out. Bye bye.